Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. We literally just a couple of minutes ago got the announcement of The Flash's first five titles of Season 7, so we're going to break it down all here in today's video. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So this is coming from Spoiler TV, basically your best source in terms of titles and anything like that and synopsises that are released for our shows week by week obviously when they're back on and considering that none of the shows did come back on in October we are leading into our show's first episode premieres very very soon and so we just got the first few trailers for Batwoman that is the first piece of footage we've seen from any show obviously disregarding the flash at DC fandom because what I really meant was new footage obviously we hadn't seen that footage from DC fandom but that in fact is comprised of footage shot before the lockdown so what I meant was new footage shot recently, post lockdown, post, you know, everything, basically. And so, yeah, these are the official titles. The episode one title is titled All's Well, That Ends Wells, which is a reference to the Shakespeare play of the same name, but, you know, the final well is instead Wells. So that play is by William Shakespeare, it's very, very famous came out in 1741, so a long time ago, but is still known to this very day. I don't think the episode is going to have much in common with the actual play, but I think it's going to have something in common just with the title being All's Well That Ends Wells, which rather than a reference to the title can be a reference to the kind of saying All's Well That Ends Well. So I think episode one is pretty much the same as what they were going to title it when it was intended to be a part of last season. And so this is a Wells heavy episode, obviously in reference to this title, you can tell that. And this is basically the footage you saw in the DC fandom trailer. That is just a small snippet of what they shot for this episode, which would have been one of the final episodes, well, the third to last episode of last season, but instead has been put on as episode one of the season, which is going to feel like a very, very different premiere episode, unless they change something quite drastically, because we know that they shot about like 90% of the episode, then they probably shot a few extra scenes since they've been back to filming and everything. Pretty likely that this is going to feel similar to how it would have felt, which would have been nothing too important, but would have been leading towards the end of the season, but at the same time it would have been about Wells who obviously isn't like the lead character, so yeah, kind of a filler episode, but maybe they're going to retool it to be a premiere episode. Okay, so now let's move on to the episode 2 title of season 7, which is The Speed of Thought. So this is interesting, and I think this title definitely relates to Barry getting his Speed Force powers back, to him finally returning with his speed, because he's going to need his speed by the end of the season in order to defeat Eva, and the clone army which are coming, we know that, and episode 3's title references that as well, and we'll get to that in a minute, but the speed of thought is the title, and I feel like this is for sure in reference to that in terms of his speed, so I think there will be a way for them to bring his powers back, you know, fully get the speed force back, whether it's creating the artificial speed force, or if it's him actually getting the Speed Force back. However, it seemed pretty obvious that the Speed Force wasn't going to come back. It looked like it was completely dead last season. So we'll have to wait and see. But as for now, I think the Speed of Thought definitely relates to Barry getting his Speed Force powers back. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's move on to the Episode 3 title of Season 7, which is Mother. And this relates to the speed of thought, what I just said, in regards to Eva. So yeah, the title is Mother, that is Season 7, Episode 3, the third episode, which was intended to be the season finale of Season 6. Now it's going to be Episode 3 of Season 7, which will act as a kind of finale. You'll have your final battle and everything, but it will lead on to next week, which will be Episode 4. So it's not going to be a big cliffhanger or anything, maybe something big will happen towards the end, which will set up, say, the villain for the rest of the season or for half the season that is left. I don't know how long the first half of the season is going to be, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, episode 3 titled Mother is definitely in relation to Eva, because she's got her clone army which are going to be coming. And spoiler alert, it seems like Eva is going to side with our team, with Team Flash whilst this clone army kind of goes a bit rogue 
all over the city and I think Eva has to stop them as well. And I believe at one point in the season, the people controlled by Eva, or at least, you know, whoever it was, I don't actually remember, but someone definitely called her mother. And I think that's in relation to her powers and her control over people. But yeah, so episode three is intended to be the finale of last season, but is now episode three of this season. And yeah, so this is going to be a big change. It's going to be an important episode that will propel what happens next. And so let's go on to what happens next. And that is episode four, which is titled Central City Strong. So this is interesting. Obviously, Central City Strong is in reference to Central City being very strong. It's as simple as that. However, what's going to happen in this episode? I do believe this is the episode where Abracadabra is returning and potentially blood work. And I think the idea of Central City Strong is, you know, Team Flash and everyone facing off against these two big villains. And it's because Central City has a strong kind of force behind it, you know, Team Flash, essentially. So that is my kind of outlook at what that title means. And I mean, I think that's pretty obvious. Now let's move on to the final title that was revealed. This was for episode five of season seven, which is titled Fear Me. So this is my favorite title out of all of these because I think this says the most. You know, I really like the speed of thought. I thought that was a really cool title definitely my second favorite I thought Central City Strong gives quite a lot away and I like it but I think Fear Me excites me the most because I really think this is the start of where we're going in the season obviously at the start in the first three episodes we are wrapping up last season's story and I'm most excited to get past those three episodes and get to what we're waiting for the new season the new big bad the new storyline whatever is going to happen and I think Fear Me definitely relates to the big bad. So who's the big bad going to be? Well, we'll have to wait and see, but we know that Godspeed is going to be one of the main villains of the season, and I think saying Fear Me in the title pretty much confirms Godspeed is going to show up in episode 5, or someone working for Godspeed. And so maybe this is the start of this whole new character arc, this villain arc of the season, and Fear Me is, you know, a very good title that invokes a lot of fear in you and a lot of excitement for what's to come because it's a very unambiguous title it says what it wants to say but at the same time it's a bit ambiguous because you know we're like oh godspeed is going to come at some point in the season but who is this godspeed who do we have to fear it apparently is not august heart it is not that same version of godspeed so we'll be making videos on this when godspeed comes into fruition in this new season so be on the lookout for that if you have any questions or theories in regards to what the hell is going to go on with Godspeed this upcoming season because I definitely will have a lot to say with that and I think I have a few theories to go forward and so yeah episode one was titled All's Well That Ends Wells which is a reference to the Shakespeare play The Speed of Thought episode two is probably in relation to Barry getting his speed force powers back and him becoming a proper speedster again rather than losing his powers like he's been doing towards the end of last season which was a huge problem for him and I think to be honest I think they dragged that storyline out a, a bit too long and episode 3 is titled Mother this is supposed to be the season 6 finale and this will be Eva's final episode and then episode 4 is Central City Strong we will be seeing Abracadabra return and also blood work because we saw them on set recently that was leaked and then episode 5 of season 7 is Fear Me, which is supposedly the entry into the proper next story of The Flash, which will be most likely Godspeed. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new, and also remember every Thursday we do live streams, the DC TV show, we're on episode 8 next week. That is Thursday night, don't miss that, sometime around 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. So translate that to whatever time zone you guys are in. So for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy room.